this cemetery is so peaceful and beautiful. I'm gonna insert some footage here when my daughter and I were driving up. There were deer roaming throughout the cemetery. I can see why they picked this resting place for Paul Walker. It is beautiful. I'm waiting because there's a truck that is loading something up and it's very noisy and I wanted to do a quieter video. But there he is right here. We are at the Forest Lawn Cemetery where Paul Walker is laid to rest and there are deer eating what that deer that are eating the flowers. Look at that. My daughter is walking closer. Someone must have just got laid to rest. I'm surprised they're eating the flowers. That's weird. So here is some better footage. My daughter is actually taking this footage. Um, sorry about the beginning footage, but a car drove by and I didn't want to get them on video. And I was sitting in the car at a distance because I'm on oxygen. But this cemetery was so beautiful, magical. I mean, I just don't even know how to describe it. And there were deer everywhere. I would love to be laid to rest in a place like this. So I'm going to be panning over to where Paul Walker is. You can see people that have visited have left him little tokens. It's interesting because there's a stone of someone else directly in front of him, which is kind of weird. But this is where he is laid to rest. I will be inserting some photos here because I did not take a bunch of video because of the noise of the truck. But as you can see, people leave their tokens that they visited him. It is very peaceful here. And in some pictures coming up, you can see my daughter got visibly upset. Paul Walker was kind of her idol. As a young child, my kids always watch Fast and Furious. I When I played that first Fast and Furious movie, it really impacted their lives, especially my younger son. He actually did car racing because of those movies. So Paul Walker was a huge idol to my daughter. She idolized him. So she's visibly upset. Where Marilyn Monroe and Janet Lee are buried. We did not find Janet Lee though, which is Jimmy Lee Curtis's mom. Here we are at the beloved Marilyn Monroe's resting place. Look at this and all the kisses. Somebody left her a note. very iconic and to the left we have Hugh Hefner you can see he's got lots of lipstick kisses too now there is a story that I heard that he wanted to be laid to rest above Marilyn Monroe but this gentleman Richard E. Poncher got the spot and as the story goes, he wanted to be laid to rest, facing down like he's looking down at Marilyn Monroe on his stomach. Now, how creepy is that? Now, I did hear that he threatened his wife before he died if she didn't lay him to rest how he wanted. He said he was gonna haunt her, but now, I read that um, his wife actually might move him and sell his plot. But I think it is very fitting that Hugh Hefner is laid to rest next to Marilyn Monroe. 
what an icon. And then if you turn and go over here, this is her bench and remembrance of Marilyn Monroe from her many fans. How awesome is that? It's dark here because this was kind of our last stop. I thought it would be more lit up, but it is not. Luckily, I knew exactly where she was resting at. It is a small cemetery in the middle of the city. It's very weird. Now you're just going to be seeing some p pictures that I did take when I was there. Um, as you could kind of hear, my breathing was kind of off and you could hear my oxygen machine beeping. That means I was running out of air, but I did not want to miss out on this moment. We could not find Jamie Lee Curtis's mom, which is Janet Curtis, who is buried here as well. It was dark. This is a 24-hour cemetery. It is very unusual where it's located. It's literally in the middle of two cement high-rises in LA. But nonetheless, it was very cool to be there and see this place where this iconic person, Marilyn Monroe, is laid to rest. So I really wanted to visit Judy Garland. She was one of the ones on my list growing up as a young child that I love watching Wizard of Oz. And her and Michael Landon was another person I wanted to visit. Unfortunately, I did not make it to his resting place. Michael Landon reminded me a lot of my father. I met Melissa Gilbert from Little House on the Prairie. That show just meant so much to me as a child growing up. But anyways, this cemetery was also very beautiful. I'm showing around. I just was like in awe how beautiful it was for being right in the middle of a city um, where Marilyn Monroe is laid to rest is very, very small. Like I had mentioned in the middle of two cement buildings, but this is beautiful. Judy Garland has her own pavilion. You walk in and there's a little gate. We did not open the gate out of respect but and I'm sorry for the glare but here she is it is so beautiful she has her own little area which she as she should and some my daughter did something that was kind of magical and some people came in behind us and my daughter played this song on her phone somewhere over the rainbow I didn't want to get in trouble with YouTube so I only played part of it but the people that came in actually teared up and everybody was quiet. That moment was just really special to be there and have that song playing. Now, Toto is not laid to rest in this cemetery, but he does have a statue in memory of him. So make sure if you make it to this cemetery, you go find the statue. It is not by where Judy Garland is laid to rest, though. And to my surprise in reading the statue... I glanced over to my left and kind of was walking around and I found some other resting places that really actually, quite honestly, I was not prepared for and took me off guard. I just don't have any other way to describe it. Here is Mickey Rooney. All these great actors.
And then we have over here Ann Hesh, who we recently lost. May you rest in peace, Ann. You were a great actress. So when I looked to the left of Mickey Rooney and saw Ann Hesh, I was not expecting it at all. We lost her just recently, and it was so tragic how she passed. I was kind of shook to see her right there. Here we have Johnny Ramone. This was a very glamorous is not the word, but huge remembrance and memory of him. It was beautiful. I don't know how to describe it. But when I was viewing his resting spot, which a lot of people were, to my shock, I did not in a million years, being from Seattle, thinking that I was going to come across this person's resting place. If you're from Seattle, you know and you understand. I've seen this particular musician play in person before, and it was just kind of an overwhelming feeling. I just don't even know how to describe it. This place is beautiful. It is surrounded by a lake. There's actually peacocks that are walking around. It's just beautiful here. Here we are at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery and we came to visit Judy Garland of Wizard of Oz and we were walking by to see the Toto statue and I am completely shook being from Seattle. I was not expecting to walk by and see Chris Cornell of Soundgarden. This honestly took my breath away knowing he was right here. I had no clue. So rest in peace. Chris Cornell, you are missed. So I'm just kind of panning around, giving you a view of the lake and how beautiful it is here. It is so tranquil, tranquil and peaceful. And as I'm zooming in, I noticed this look familiar and I've seen this on video before. Um, this is the actor that was in the Star Trek series I never watched the newer series. I watched Star Trek as a child because people used to always say my dad looked like Captain Kirk. But um, his resting place is absolutely beautiful. He died tragically, um, fluke accident at his house involving like his fence or something. He got trapped or pinned into his fence and he died very sad story and he was very young too so this is just a short clip and then i'm going to be showing you some pictures from my visit here but they were actually setting up for an adams family movie premiere they actually have movie nights in this cemetery which i thought was very interesting but would be kind of spooky to attend they have the movies on that wall and they were setting up the car and then they had where you can take your pictures. How cool is that? So now I'm just kind of going back over and showing pictures that I did take. I did take a bunch of pictures of Judy Garland and a bunch of Toto's statue. I did think it was very interesting how they did not have the Toto statue at over by Judy Garland. I think 
that they should put it over by Judy Garland. It makes more sense since they call it the Judy Garland Pavilion. Toto is not really laid to rest here. This is just a statue in memory of him. He is laid to rest somewhere else. So to me, it makes more sense to have his statue over by Judy Garland. I mean, am I wrong? And then just seeing Chris Cornell, I was really taken back by it, as I said. I was not expecting it. I think that's what caught me off guard. We went to this cemetery with just seeing Judy Garland in mind and the Toto statue. We had a list of people to see. I know there are probably more we could have visited. Um, for instance, where Paul Walker is laid to rest. I know Walt Disney has a very big resting place to visit there. I was just on a time limit, so there were certain places I really wanted to see. So I'm sure there were, like, as you can see at this location, I was overwhelmed. There was an actor from Gone with the Wind. I saw Anne Hesch. Anne Hesch. I can't say her name right. Anne Hesch. Um, and Johnny Ramone and Chris Cornell. I was not expecting all that, especially since Anne Hesch is so fresh. She passed away not very long ago. So... That one really took me off guard. And Mickey Rooney, just so many actors to be standing right there. It just really takes you back. Now here I did take some pictures of them setting up. And be how cool is that to watch like the Adams Family movie in the cemetery. And then just the view of the Hollywood sign. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe button as it really helps my channel out. And I appreciate all of you so very much and comment down below. And thank you so much for watching until the next one. Happy haunting.